Now you know, water precipitated the whole situation. It was a debate that we were having on the so-called hardwood housing incorporated. I mean, I, I, I really feel compelled to just say a little something about that because the truth is, the case is so excellently put by David Thompson that no one has been able to respond to it. Uh, let's understand that if Clyde Masca could not respond to the 11 points that were put, seriatim, 11 accusations that were put there in clear, simple English, not one word to respond to. Who in there can respond to? So Maskell knows more about the hardwood thing than all of them put together. And oh my, the new chairman disowned him. He said, well, I don't know what I thought before I was chairman, but since I was chairman, this is what happened. But that's another story. The fact of the matter is that we have laid the facts. And I hear people talking about a smoking gun. But good there. You had documentary evidence. You had the word of the minister himself and the CEO himself talking about accepting checks and endorsing checks to the company to work on family property. What more smoking gun could you want? It is out there and they cannot respond to it. And I am saying to the Barbados Labour Party, stop being so timid, stop being so scared, stop using a a, a, a perverted House of Assembly to say what you have to say about the Democratic Labour Party and about members of the opposition. Hit the street, walk a platform, and respond. We have laid the allegations in public. We don't need any protection. I don't need any protection. I have already determined that I am not going back in there at all until I get up those steps and I turn left instead of right. I done with that. Say, I have to say on the platform of the Democratic Labour Party with my colleagues which you heard me praise earlier. As far as I'm concerned, I mean let the cat out the bag because I hear something but after the end of the year we can review. Well I done do my reviewing. I done with that. Uh, opposition thing. I deal with issues out here now. I don't want the government to come out here. Don't hide behind anything. A big able prime minister can't make a speech in eight months. And he mean it slouching over the table, lean over at me. What about Dodds and the sports council? I say you're right to talk about Dodds. They got a spot there waiting for you. Big prime minister. Come out on the street. Mount a platform. Go well, after his nomination. Any number can play. Any number can play now. Any number can play now. Let's hear from you. So you see, we have some serious business at hand. We must never forget who we're in politics for. Very glad to see Bradford Tate here on the platform. I'm not, I'm not wandering around, wandering around the platform like, like if he's lost, taking his place in the center. I always remember what he told me. Anytime you cannot recognize who you're in politics for, it is time to get out. I want to salute Dennis Kelman who mentored me when I first came in the house and always got me to understand that. So when we had a supplementary in there the other day, for the money on our Scott, for the big companies who came up with their cranes, etc., they get in there, the supplementary being fast track for them to get their money. But Dennis would remind me, what about the MPW workers who did the overtime work and get paid yet? And Christmas coming up. You must never forget who you're in politics for. You're in politics for the people, especially those who are least able to help themselves. And so I say, unfortunately, as I conclude, because we're hearing from the whole parliamentary team tonight, because we're united on this issue. United on it. As I leave you, I say, look, the stand that we took 
was for all Barbadians, especially the ones who are crying out. Poor health conditions, uh, rampant price, price increase, all of the challenges that they have. Worried about obtaining land and house for their children and their children's children. Those are the people that we are in politics for. Those are the people that this team is committed to bringing some relief to. And so I'm very proud to be here, to stand with the, my colleagues, and I look forward to campaigning up and down the lengths and breadth of this country, shoulder to shoulder with all of you, as we come out in our numbers and show this government that we've had enough of them. It's time for them to go, and we will clean up that House of Assembly, clean up government, and take this country to another level. Thank you very much. Good night.